What's good sports gamers and we got an official trailer for the new mode court battles in NBA Live 19. So let's check it out. On my court, you gotta win by at least 10 points. It's a whole lot of buckets. If you know, you know. On my court, you better be ready to duck. If you know, you know. On my court, everybody has to score. Shorts, coaching from the side of the ball court. If you know, you know. One stop like a Walmart. We got the tennis balls for the wrong sport. You know, you know. These are my rules. My rules. My rules. My rules. What's yours? So we're going to be able to travel the globe and get to play against players, AI controlled teams or other live players. Attack their court and try to take them over or defend ours in which the attack and defend phases are split into campaigns. And the more courts you take before the time runs out, the better rewards you get. But the most important thing is to never have your own court taken. So you're going to want to have the perfect combination of defense so your AI controlled team wins the match for you. And we'll be able to use players we recruited from the Streets World Tour, players we get in our reward collections, or any player you receive during a live event, they'll be available. And we'll be able to play with different rules to assist in making sure you win also. There'll be 38 game rules you can mess with, from simple things like a game of 11, or crazy stuff like only dunks count, or an outside end game where three pointers are worth four. Jumpers are worth 3 points, layups 2, and dunks 1. James Harden's court you have to win by 10, and Bede is inside out rules where the big men have the advantage, and Candace Parker's rules is everybody has to get a bucket. So it's a lot of creative ways to play in court battles. And obviously you're going to want to match your lineup to the rules you set forth, so you might not want a 9 shooter out there for an outside end game. Again, it's all about finding the right combo of players to defend your castle with the rules you set forth to increase your chances of victory. And there's also things called attack handicaps that you'll have for anybody who steps on your court and will only affect their roster. And what it does is give them restrictions to their lineup. The example they used is an outside in rules game where shooting is key. So you can force them to play with two centers. And the higher tier you are, the higher the handicaps will be on the opponent and thus harder to win on your court. And after all that is complete, you can set your game plan to tell how you want your AI control team to play. You'll be able to set it up so their behavior benefits the rules you set forth. They use an example of having your players crash the boards when the match has rebounds count towards your point total. The combinations are endless people. So with the ability to have our course look the way we want and the rules and teams you can select that best benefits you, we'll be able to create some unique looking setups and court battles. The amount of fun I can already see from this mode is endless. But what do you guys think of the mode? Let us know in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA Live 19 content. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And once you're with us hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. And be good, y'all.